So this evening we're at uh, the launch of the Mental Health Champions, part of our Ahead of the Game programme. We've brought them all to the National Football Stadium at Windsor Park and we're able to welcome them all and then also just brief them on how they can help um, raise mental health awareness in local football clubs. A lot of the work of the Foundation through the IFA is looking at trying to help people in the community, trying to support people. And can we maybe create an environment where people will talk to each other, confident enough to speak to, speak to a friend about a problem that they might have? Just over two years ago, um, I attended to talk there. I was asked to come down here to the National Stadium to recite the poem that I had written about my own personal battle with depression and anxiety. Um, but I think of the journey in the last couple of years, to where I was, to where I'm at now, and then having experienced it firsthand for a long time, um, I just feel that I want to give something back and I want to help others. You know, those sort of dark years, you want to be able to use them for good now and to help other people who are suffering. So mental health is something I'm very passionate about and obviously football as well. So be able to have the both together and promote mental health through football is something that's very, very exciting and I feel very privileged and honoured to have the opportunity to do it. We've got so many people here tonight who are signing up to be voluntary mental health champions, part of the Irish Football Association family. Uh, they're going to go out there, they're going to use tools, they're going to use programmes like our Ahead of the Game, and they're going to seek out and, and try and give assistance to people who need it. The vast majority of these are volunteers that I've not met before. That tells me this is something that we're doing, that we're doing the right thing, that people see this as important and they see this as something that will add to their own skills but also will help their own community. So it's great to see 20 or so people dying to have a go at this, really interested in it and I'm very enthusiastic about where it's going. I already run a football tournament back in 2021 in memory of my brother who died from suicide. So I have a lot of like history around mental health and suicide and stuff. So when I seen it, I was like, two things I love to do, mental health, awareness and in football because so I wouldn't want anybody to be in the footsteps that my family have been in from losing my brother and stuff. It is very hard and you don't want somebody to be in the footsteps of not knowing who to talk to or feeling like they have nobody. So doing it through sport with a team especially because the team is your family. And you know if people Quite often it's football that can actually give them that anchor in life that can start to bring them back and make them feel better about themselves and it's the other people around them who can actually help them do that, you know, their teammates, their club mates, etc. That's why sport's so important in, in a society like the one we're in at the moment. The role just really stuck out to me as, as something that I could do and having gone to St Malagies, um, which is in North Belfast, one of the highest areas of suicide in Europe, I think, um, and even from some personal experiences with people in my own class and year groups at that time, sort of committing suicide and having different mental health difficulties, I, I really thought that it was a, a good opportunity for me and, and something that I've had personal experience with that I, I could maybe help with. I think in our roles, if we can promote you know, good mental health and, and get procedures in clubs and clubs and go in and do workshops and things and give people the, the opportunity and make them feel like they have the freedom to go and speak to people and gain that help then even if we just save one life or, or help one person it will be a massive uh, boost to us. Ahead of the game has been a brilliant baseline, a brilliant foundation uh, but the champions will take us on again. You know we've set out in our strategy that we want to provide much more value to Northern Ireland PLC through everything that we do off the field and tonight's launch of Mental Health Champions will certainly help us do that.